Hi, my name is Carla Henry Lewis, and I'm your relationship doula, and I help women before and after marriage bravely birth peace in the pieces of their lives. I'm going to be sharing with you uh, this devotional. It's called What's Hiding in Your Closet by Dr. Carolyn Henry Hurst, who just so happens to be my sister, and I've gotten her permission to share this with my audience. I wanted to read her introduction to this book, this little devotional. It says here, this devotional is written with the hope that you will be freed from the shackles that bind you in order that you may enjoy God's glory and be a showcase for his glory. In the first section, open your closet, we will expose the sin in our lives that we love, ignore, avoid, and or are unaware of. Clean out your closet, give strategies whereby we can become victorious over sin. And finally, in your closet showcased for God's glory, we will see how God uses us to reveal his awesome glory and power to all those around us. Meditate at least three to five times each day on the two texts given in bold print for the next 30 days. If you do so, you will experience God's miraculous power in a way that you will never forget. God's richest blessings upon you as you journey Godward. And this was from Dr. Carolyn Laverne Henry Hurst. So open your closet is the first, we're gonna do that first section. And the first one for today, it's called Exposing Sin. And here's the scripture, Lord, look deep in my heart, God, and find out everything I am thinking. See if there is any sinful way in me Lead me in the way that lasts forever. And that's found in Psalms 129, 23, the CEV version, and verse 24 is the NLV version. And I'm going to read that again. It's called Exposing Sin, this particular devotion for today. Look deep into my heart, God, and find everything I am thinking. See if there is any sinful way in me. Lead me in the way that lasts forever. Psalms 139, 23, CEV, and verse 24, NLV. David had one burning desire, to be in God's presence every day of his life. This longing drove him to ask God to expose the sin in his life, for he knew sin could never abide in God's presence. Therefore, it had to go. Sin has a tendency to lurk undetected in the dark corners of the heart, and it detests being brought to light. Why? Because it is sin. When exposed, it's seen for what it truly is, ghastly, appalling, revolting, and deadly. Be forewarned, dear friends, exposing sin is painful and sometimes you will want to shrink away, but resist the urge for if you don't run, you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. John 8, 32, the NLT. That is our thought for today, exposing sin. And here are your scriptures, Psalms 139, 23 and 24. And John 8, 32, the NLT version. I'm going to read them one more time. Look deep into my heart. And I love to personalize scripture. Look deep in Carla's heart, God, and find out everything that Carla is thinking. See if there's any sinful way in Carla and lead Carla in the way that lasts forever. And that last scripture in John 8, 32 I will know the truth and the truth will set me free. So that is what I'm hoping you will do with me when we think about this lovely thought for today, exposing sin, that we're reading from the book, What's Hiding in Your Closet 
by Dr. Carolyn Henry Hurst. Thank you. And remember, I'm Carla Henry Lewis, your relationship doula, and I help women before and after marriage bravely birth peace in the pieces of their lives.